what's up guys today we're gonna do something pretty simple we're gonna open this PDEFI I got this little Bluetooth uh, board I got from this PDEFI guys so I don't know if I can show you this but uh, yeah it's from this PDEFI guys and this is gonna allow us to run a dashboard like this either on my phone or on my uh, seven inch screen that I got that's going to be my dash so instead of having uh, these gauges here from the BMW I'm going to get the gauge that I choose and I'm going to cast whatever I want or run this app in there because of the Bluetooth so let's install it so first thing we got to do is uh, you got to get a little screwdriver I start taking those away and there are two sides uh, they kind of told me how to do it, so us, uh, like you, if you're watching this video, I've never done this, uh, but I've learned how, so take those four uh, little bolts out of here, and I opened this already before, so this is going to slide right out, you just push a little and this is out now there's a little piece of plastic here one thing to note is there are four shelvings in here for one two three four five and the bottom one is there is that uh the place that this goes and this notch here goes to the side opposite to the speedy efi we need to take the front one because um because of this here or I need to want to screw this which I don't want to do all right my cat's trying to get in here but I can't let him so take this out uh, and you see this is the board there's nothing fancy in here uh, so we have a, a cable which has uh, red black what else let me just get this here has uh, red, black, yellow, and white. So if you look at the bottom, you have VCC, which is power, you have ground, so you know that red and black is right here, then trans TX, R TXD and RXD, which is yellow and white. And then you leave the state and key out of the way. So you connect this all the way, you have a little harness like this. Now you gotta find this in here, uh, where here so there's a little four pin thing right in here so you have this four pin right there so I don't know if you'll be able to see but behind uh, this see that those little letters in there so the right side is uh, TX or RXD and then the left side is 5 volts, then ground. Let me try to get closer. Okay. So we know so far the power is on this side. So you're going to pour the power on that side. There you go. Uh, this is the Bluetooth. And this is how it connects. On this is Speedwino, uh, Speed EFI. I don't know if the version you're going to get. You just need to look inside. Uh, what is RX, TX, 5 volt and all that stuff so sometimes it's written down here not in this case so yeah I guess we're good uh, what we are going to do now to be sure that this is working I'm going to get the cable um, and we are going to try that cable on the computer and we're going to try to pair my phone with this thing here and see how it works uh, password and name of the Bluetooth should be in here um, and also should be in here in the bag and also the uh, the speed that this is connected there you go one thing you need to do uh, when you buy a speedwino you get one uh, jumper like this and if you see here the two connectors and there's the jumper so you just put the jumper right there and this tells the speedwino that uh, it's going to use uh, this bluetooth and Cool, so I'm going to open the software, I don't even think I need to, this is going to uh, power the Speedwino 
I don't know if there's, yeah, there's a light here so you can see it's blinking. Yep, allow stuff for, yep, so it's connected. Um, nice, so I'm connected to my Speedrino. Now I should be able to open apps like this here. Let's see what it does. All right, so this is the dash I have. Um, I mean, it's it's really a dashboard, like a car dashboard. If I click in here, I can say trip and it's gonna show me information. I can see map and miscellaneous. I don't know what miscellaneous, oh, it's just music. So if I go to info, I have my, see this guy here, the PSI, the first one. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get here. This is the map sensor, it's right here. So this goes on the uh, turbo, um, the pressure pipe, that, the, the pressure hose that comes from the, the turbo. So if you see here, it's gonna move. Mm. I can't see and do like at the same point at the same time, but you probably saw that this was moving. So, um, yeah, so this is pretty much what we need to do. Um, we're gonna put this back and um, yeah, and go to the car. But I mean, there's nothing more than uh, getting this little board here, uh, speedyefi.com. Those guys are going to don't mind my popcorn here. Uh, those guys are gonna hook you up with this thing here and You know just connect the middle just remember look here when you see VCC and ground means the red and black so then you know which side it goes and same thing in here You should be able to read either on the bottom or in here, but if it's like mine um, The red should be to the outside uh, to the closest and you need you can forget about the a little jumper. If the jumper is not there, it's not gonna work. So, yeah. If you guys want, I can make another video later on how to connect on this thing here and everything. But um, this is gonna be just beginning for me. Um, this for now is on my phone. Uh, it's gonna be on a seven inch screen that I got. Um, and I'm gonna make some cool things with a carbon fiber. I bought the cloth. Uh, I have the resin and uh, all this stuff to make like a cool dash inside it, inside my my car. So I'm gonna put this together and just show you where where and how to support this in there. All right. So what I'm gonna do now is uh, I put the front uh, cover, put the ECU as you see here is on the last step. So. Of course, PDFI go on the top and the ECU goes on the bottom. And then, normally, uh, this goes in here. Uh, there is a little, a little uh, curve in both sides. And then you know that this goes in here. And they fit perfectly. And this actually helps to keep the ECU from moving inside. Um, what I'm going to do is, I have two ways. I can put this way or this way. Um, I mean either way, this way we have more contact to the board, um, which is always better. And what I can do is, I can do like this, uh, put the cable down, and so it can go down in here, do some loop like that, <clears throat> and then let me try to show you. There's a little step in here. And I want to put this here right on this step. What I'm going to do is there is a reset button also. And this here is sort of the antenna. So what I'm going to do, I don't want this to heat up. Um, but I don't want this to uh, touch the metal either. So I can do a couple of things. I can put a... Uh, this tape here, which is masking tape, or I can get a electric tape, uh, not doing anything like fancy or anything. I'm just gonna do one loop in the middle. I just want to guarantee that this thing is not gonna touch anything. So ideally, I could um, even put this like this and put my tape in here so I don't need uh, 
to touch the board whatsoever which maybe that's what I'm gonna do um, do like that just one loop board is here um, I just need to guarantee that this board this part can touch the top but not the, the contacts um, so there you go not gonna tie or anything I'm just gonna put like this as you see there's a little big hole in here you go to the big hole and again I'm gonna go to the last step or I can even put on the top but um, I'm gonna go to the last step here put my thing in there I'm not gonna push yet does it make sense like shove the cable in here that way my tape is holding this here together this is not gonna move okay um, and that's pretty much it you got your your back cover just be sure you put them uh, proper tight enough and then and then that's it all right so let me start the ECU and I'm gonna see yep ECU connected you can see there so yeah Bluetooth is working um, I hope you enjoyed this I'm gonna run a car tomorrow um, I'm gonna see if I can start the video now for the uh, <clears throat> 7 inch screen because I still need to power it so I need to grab another uh, positive from there and then bring over here um, which is gonna be alright but uh, but you know it's always another soldering another bunch of other stuff so uh, don't forget to subscribe hit that little bell button stuff stuff more stuff to come uh, to get this car done and uh, check out my website I have a website called www.carmodsgarage.com I have some merch in there I have um, I'm trying to keep up with a blog with the uh, Mitsubishi Eclipse I have outside and I'm gonna start with this one everything I used every video I posted and all that stuff so I can help you if you don't want to watch all the YouTube videos you can just read that thing and do whatever you gotta do but uh, I hope this video helps you I just made it because uh, I thought I had uh, at first I had the Bluetooth card and I didn't so I called the guys and I mean the price is very 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 accessible um, so they gave me the card um, I bought the card pick it up today that was pretty quick and installed easily so I just showed you how I installed it I never done before but I knew how to do because they told me uh, just that little back part um, I wasn't sure if I should put the tape or not but uh yeah better safe than sorry and you know how it goes at the end of every video right i'll see you around